Today we're doing the Bessicar 525 handover and setup guide. We're going to show you where everything goes and how to set up the Bessicar Cameo 525. Starting on the near side, the door side, we've got an external 230 volt socket. All of your 230 volt sockets are only going to work if you're plugged into mains site electric. So if you're not plugged into the mains electric, none of your 230 volt sockets are going to work. So just remember that. You've got an external locker. Um, when these open, the little spring holds them up and to close these back down, it's push it in. Turn the handle, push it in and a good push in. You do need the key to put back into the lock position and then when you push that in that will lock in. External gas barbecue point you can get the little adapter that will go into this onto your gas hose and onto your barbecue. Pushes in just turn the gas connector on so turn the yellow tap in line and that will run straight off the gas bottle in the caravan itself. So in the front we've got our gas locker We've got room for two gas bottles. We're all set up for propane, which is the red gas bottles. It's set up with the Truma Duo control. If you're only running one gas bottle, you do have to run off this right hand side. If you've not got a gas bottle on one of the hoses, it needs to be the left hand side that hasn't got a gas connector on there. If you do have two bottles on and you want to swap over, it's literally turn the handle, turn the control dial to the opposite side and that will change the supply of the gas bottle. So to actually turn your gas on and off, just use the close and open on the top of the bottle. You must remember that these have got a reverse thread, so when you come to tighten these or loosen them, it's opposite to normal thread when you connect the gas bottle up. We're set up with 13 pin electrics, so again, make sure that your towing vehicle has 13 pin electrics. The Alco AKS hitch, uh, if you have a look in the description, you'll find a setup guide for hitching up and towing. On the opposite side, on the off side of the caravan, We've firstly got our vent for our Aldi water heater system. So this is the vent where it's going to vent for all of your gas from the Aldi water heater and heating system. So nothing to do with that. Just make sure that it doesn't get broken. We've got an external shower point. So if you have got animals, etc., you can plug in an external shower into this one and that can be used straight off the main system. For your actual water system, we've got two connections. We've got a blue hose. Now this blue hose goes in the top as we've got electrical connections. So this goes into your top one. And this is direct to the tank. So this has got an onboard water tank. And to fill that onboard water tank, this is the hose that we would use to fill the onboard water tank. If you're going to use your aqua roll and just pump straight direct to your taps we're using the white hose and this one says direct to tap we'll show you inside there's a little shut off valve um, to control either one that you want to work on for your mains electric we just plug in into here battery's already connected up and then just behind here we've got the controller for the motor mover which will show you that when we or when you come to collect the caravan we'll show you that you have also got two external sockets or aerial points um, which you can connect up to a site satellite system or tv aerial point uh, you just need a connector from here onto the site power just behind the wheel we've got our wastewater outlets so both of our wastewater from our sink shower and kitchen sink are all going to come out of here then got our cassette toilet which again we've got the the twist handles so to close it we twist it if this was in the lock position again when we push that in that will lock in to open it when you unlock it it will pop out and just twist and this will open straight up at the top we've got again key 
just turns in here for your flush water so just a little watering can or a pot bottle that can fill up and pink chemical pink toilet flush into the top set at the bottom to remove this we lift up the orange handle this pulls straight out to actually empty the cassette we swing out the funnel remove the cap and we've got a little air vent at the back that as we tip that up hold the air vent in and that will air empty everything out if you want to put any blue chemical into the bottom of the cassette toilet pull the flap back and then this one will just open the little trap door and you can clean that out make sure that that gets fully closed and this pushes back in and again to put it back in it's literally just straight back in we have also got a drain off valve at the top here so this drain off is for your flush water so in the winter you're going to want to drain this off or if you've got the system too full of water it's best not to travel with the flush water full so just pop off the cap and this will drain all of that flush water out for you moving inside I'll just put the awning light on the awning light so second one in that will control the awning light for you side of the caravan just above the door we've got our main control panel which we've got our power on and off button we've got our water pump now this will put our water pump on either the internal onboard water pump um, that will use the white to tap pump on the outside or if you want to fill the tank so the blue hose outside to actually fill your onboard water tank we need to press the fill tank button if we're going to use the internal water pump either from the onboard tank or from the white hose outside direct tap we'll put putting our water pump on in a minute before we do that we want to make sure all of our taps are closed and also all of our drain bungs are closed and we'll show you that now and just at the very front of the caravan underneath this front locker we've got our inboard water pump and also all of our taps and drain off taps now we're using the external supply at the moment so you'll notice that all of our valves are in the external supply so our drain off valves which are the yellow ones either side are in the down position and then our external T fitting here the tap is pointing this way at the three o'clock position and that will then use our external water supply with our white water pump straight from the aquarole if you want to fill the onboard water tank up we would literally put our fill tank button above the door put our blue hose outside into our rack roll and that will fill our onboard water tank straight up we would then move the white tap here into the six o'clock position facing down would you leave our drain off bungs in exactly the same position and that will then run straight from our internal water tank and that will supply our water from the internal tank we've got it set up at the moment for external so we'll leave it on that if you want to drain the water system down it's just lift these yellow bungs or yellow drain off valves into the upright position both of those up into the upright position and open all of the taps up and that will just drain the system straight down for you once we know that all of our taps are closed we've got the correct setting on our water we can then put our water pump on and you'll hear the water pump kick in and that will then give us water through our system when we fill our water system up for the first time if we've drained it down we'll have quite a lot of coughing and spluttering 
um, from the taps and it'll take about five minutes to fill up the hot water tank and to just get the water through the system for the cold water system also you'll need to drain the water through or run the water through on the kitchen tap the bathroom tap and the shower tap and just get all the water all the way through the system once we've filled the system full of water we can then go ahead and put our hot water heating on and i'll show you how to do that next we've got the aldi water heater system in this one to turn the system on we've got our main on button and we'll get the lights come up we'll then get our menu button and this will tell you us what we've actually got our settings on so the top one is our internal temperature so this is what we can set the room temperature to the next one down is our hot water and we've got a low setting and a high setting and then further down we've got our electric symbol now this will show us whether we've got one kilowatt of electric two kilowatt of electric or three kilowatt of electric now that will run only on the mains system and also to make sure that this is going to work on the electric we need to have a little plug symbol that at the moment we've not got on so i'll show you how to put that little plug symbol on next so just at the side of the cooker we've got this door and behind the door we've got our main control panel now at the moment we've got our charger on and to put our power to our electric heating system we need to press the orange button further along while we're in here we've also got our main trip switches we've got a bank of fuses and again just below we've got what those fuses refer to we've also then got a main system shut down that maybe through the winter you want to press that button and that will isolate the complete system for you now when we go back to our aldi heating system we should have a little tap uh, a little plug symbol so once we've turned our electric on you'll see we've got our little plug symbol now and that just lets us know we've actually got our electric power turned on to the heating and hot water system and we can then select our electric either on one kilowatt two kilowatt or three kilowatt now once this is on and we've set our hot water on our heating on to our desired temperatures that will then just run an electric uh, heating the caravan up to our temperature that we've set and also heating our hot water to the temperature that we've set as i said depending on site power you can go on one kilowatt two kilowatt or three kilowatt if you're not on mains electric you have also got the option to turn your gas on and run the gas heating also if you're going to use your gas system we would say before you turn your gas on bleed the gas system through the caravan and the easiest way to bleed the gas through the caravan is with your hob so if i just light these up and it's literally turn our control dial to the big flame hit our igniter and then all three burners will light up we can select low flame and then back off we've also got our grill so the control dial with the little flat symbol on is our grill so again we turn that to the big flame hold it in hit our igniter and that lights our grill for us next is our oven we've got 160 up to 240 so again to light our oven we hold that one in hit our igniter and that will light our oven up again we can set the temperature on the dial then to what we want and that will just work on the thermostat we have also got an electric ring which is the very first one we've got one to six and that will put our electric ring on 
what we must also do is that if we have used any of the hob on gas or electric we need to make sure everything's turned off and before we put the glass lid down we make sure that this is all gone cold and then we can put the lid down if you put this glass lid down while these are still hot there is a good chance that this is going to crack once we've run our system through we can then select gas on our Aldi heating system and hot water system and it's again just the little gas symbol that was at the bottom and that will run the gas all the way through the system if you want to use the fridge then our main on and off button is the first one we've got gas selected at the moment so that will then just light up on the gas system again if we've run the gas through the the hob oven and cooker that will light up a lot quicker if we want to select electric we've got our plug symbol and just press that one if we've got the 13 pin electrics on the car we just press our battery and that will then run off the car battery as we're towing to alter the temperature we've got the temperature control here and again we can set the temperature on the fridge then to what we want that to if we want to turn the fridge completely off again it's our first button and we just hold that in and that will turn the fridge straight off on this one we've got a electronic roof light little control dial here to open it we've got on the left hand side and to close it we'll hold Uh, first button and that will do in stages unless we just hold the button on fully this has also got a rain sensor on so if it senses that the rain is coming into it it starts to rain and this is open this will automatically close down again you can then set this to different opening settings I would suggest that if it was very windy probably not to have this open as there is a good chance the wind can damage this again when it comes down to the fully closed position it will just automatically stop on release throughout the caravan uh, there's lots of light switches we've got a set of light switches to the side we've got some by the kitchen area we've got light switches on the front panel here we've got light switches underneath and we've also got individual light switches on the little spotlights around the caravan so again plenty of lighting throughout this caravan our microwave we've got a few different settings on here we've got a quick start which will just literally put it straight on for a minute we've got a cancel and stop and then we've got different settings that are set throughout this you can set this up to different temperatures uh, different times you've got different settings on there one thing that we would suggest is that always remember to remove the microwave plate before you tow the caravan so we'll remove this um, and we'll probably actually put this into the into the sink uh, once we've finished uh, again always just make sure that microwave plate is removed before you tow the caravan we've got the extractor fan in the ceiling which we've got our main on button in the middle and then we've got blow in and also extract out the little dial at the side will open the top roof vent up again this isn't automatic this is a manual one so you do need to make sure that that is closed before you travel and if you're going to go out for the day onto the bathroom we've got a shower and cassette toilet we've got our light switches for our bathroom just on the side here 
Uh, cassette toilet to flush, put the flush water through the toilet is the little blue button on the top. Hear that pump through. To open the little trap door, we've got our grey handle and that will open and let everything through. Make sure that that's pushed right towards the front of the caravan. If that's not pushed to the front of the caravan, the cassette won't come out um, and it's a good chance that you're going to damage that then. The freestanding table is also hidden away just in the side locker here in the bathroom. So the freestanding table is just there. Hopefully that's gone through all the main operations of the better car for you. If there is anything that you need to know in more depth or need any more detail on, please let us know. Let us know in the comments uh, or give us a call and again we can just go through things on the telephone with you. Thanks for watching. I'm Mark at the Caravan Place.